So how was your Christmas? I, uh, I got kicked off of YouTube. I got kicked off of YouTube actually for reading a shitty poem. Uh, well, in all honesty, not just for that. I, I had three copyright infringements on my account, which three strikes and you're out. Uh, the first one was from Bruce Hornsby. I used a small section of uh, his and Branford Marsalis's version of the National Anthem for uh, a video I shot of 4th of July fireworks last year. I played that underneath the shots of the fireworks. Uh, so that was strike one. And I'll be, and to, in all fairness to Mr. Hornsby, uh, it is clear, I don't even need to explain how my two-minute fireworks video with a small section of his song under it was clearly a threat to his livelihood. So no hard feelings there. Um, number two, uh, I don't know, some of you who have watched my channel uh, for a while, uh, I, I used to post on YouTube these uh, little snippets of Patrick Swayze movies, just moments when he would be excessively overacting or he would do something really weird or really funny. Uh, I called it Great Moments in Swayze, and one of those ran afoul of Paramount Pictures. So that was strike two. Uh, and then strike three was I read a shitty poem by a guy named Mike Lichtig as a part of a series I was doing called Bad Poems Read Badly. And uh, he filed a copyright complaint to YouTube for that, and they accepted it, and that was strike three. So I got kicked off. My account was terminated. I, I appealed the last one, but it didn't really get anywhere. Um, so I'm back. I got a new channel, Steve Likes to Curse, the numeral two. So uh, all of you guys who subscribed to me, who were kind enough to subscribe to me uh, the last time, if you want to resub, that's uh, th this is the channel, Steve Likes to Curse. The old one's completely gone. I considered actually not coming back to YouTube at all. Uh, I never considered not making videos anymore. It's just too much fun. Once I started doing it, it became addictive. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep making videos, but I considered... I know I have a Daily Motion account that I almost never use. I have an account on Meta Cafe and uh, Vimeo and all these other video sharing sites that I don't pay any attention to. And I thought about just going full-time to one of those and just uploading just to one of those. But if you make videos on the Internet and you want to have any chance of people seeing them. Uh, YouTube is really the only place to do it. And so here I am. I mean, I post everything. All of my videos I post I post to my, my website at stevelikestocurse.com. But if I'm lucky, that gets maybe 100 hits a day. So you uh, to have the, the videos as part of the YouTube community is really the best way to get them seen. Also, there are just so many cool people that I met and I have met, and I continue to know through the YouTube experience, uh, fellow YouTube users who emailed me when they saw that my channel had been terminated, which is just so touching and cool to me. Um, uh, the Felt Begone, who was the first person to email me uh, after my channel had been terminated, and he was also the first person to resubscribe when I started this channel. Uh, very, very cool, and he makes videos occasionally and uh, it's just a really really great guy and if, if, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the Felt Begons channel you should uh, and Precambrian Lullaby another guy who's become a buddy of mine who's who makes cool videos and was in and, and was kind enough to email me uh, Timois girl who I met through Precambrian Lullaby makes the most awesome videos. I mean, uh, she a lot of her stuff is about silent movies and about uh, Rudolph Valentino, but she also does other things too uh, with, you know, as herself and just awesome, really cool. And uh, Jim Howard, the great Jim Howard. If you don't know who Jim Howard is, Jim Howard invented the blog. Uh, and he watches my videos. <laughs> I just can't tell you how cool that is. Jim Howard, the world's first blogger, watches my videos. And he's probably watching this right now. So hi, Jim. And thank you so much for your support and, and, uh, and for just giving me a few minutes out of your life a couple of times a, a month to watch this stupid bullshit that I do. So um, I'm back. 
this is the first new video on the new channel, uh, starting with a fresh slate, uh, no strikes, no copyright infringements from here on out. I'm going to be a good boy, I'm going to play by the rules, and I'll be able to keep doing this ad infinitum. Um, because I really can't think of too many more permutations of the phrase Steve likes to curse that I could use to set up subsequent channels, you know. Um, so this is going to be, this one has to last me for a while. Um, I'm going to be re-uploading the old stuff, starting working backwards and going by series, so I'll try to put the old riffing on mail calls up first, uh, and then the other ones, like the, the science ones I did, the creationist arguments, I'm really fond of those. Uh, I'm going to try to get those up quickly. So if, you, if you're watching this on my blog, uh, the, the broken links and the missing videos will gradually disappear as, as the, uh, the days and weeks go on. Uh, I'm not going to re-upload the uh, bad poems read badly to YouTube because I just don't want to be asking for any more trouble. Uh, so I moved all of those to 7-load. Uh, and in fact, right there is a link, and it's also in the description, to uh, the video that got me kicked off. My bad poems read badly reading of I Am Alone by Mike Lichtig. It's on seven load now, so please go and watch it. And Mike, if you want to try to get me kicked off seven load, best of luck to you because it's based in Germany, okay? And they started two world wars. I seriously doubt they're going to be too concerned about me reading your shitty poem without permission. And I don't just say it's a shitty poem out of bitterness at all, because before he complained and got me kicked off of YouTube, I thought it was the worst poem I've ever read. It's really, really awful. So if you, and if you didn't get a chance to watch that and you want to see what I mean, seven load. So that's it. Uh, next week, hopefully, I'm going to start back into the, the mail call videos and uh, a few other things I've been wanting to do. And uh, I actually did three videos after I got shit canned from YouTube, so I'll re-upload those too. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for those of you who contacted me on Facebook and uh, emailed me. It, it means a lot, and uh, I'm glad to be back doing this again on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching.